Hello, we now talk about fractions. There are many types of fractions. I'll put on the main types that I'm going to talk about. There is vulgar fraction. There is decimal fraction. And there is percentage. Now first, the idea of a fraction. Now we are most familiar with natural and whole numbers. Numbers that goes 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Numbers that we count with every day. So those are probably the simplest and, and most familiar. Now the idea of fractions are when we don't have the whole numbers when we have numbers in between or when we want to describe um, the parts of something. So these are where fractions come in. So fractions, we think of fractions as numbers that are not whole numbers. Now what's a vulgar fraction? The word vulgar can have different meanings and vulgar can mean something that is not nice. It can mean something that is um, very common but in this case it does not mean any of those rather it means things like 1 over 2 4 over 5 and so on it means fractions that are written in this way as a number over a number Decimal, we know what decimals are. It looks like, say, 0 0.12 or 1.356 and so on. So a number with a point and some other numbers behind it. So for example, in a vulgar fraction, let me just write down another example, say 2 and one third. So for example, if I look at this fraction, this 1 over 2, the 1 over 2 is half and it is a number that is between 0 and 1. So this number 2 and 1 third, that's um, a kind of fraction, and it's a number that's in between 2 and 3. So none of these are whole numbers. And in a decimal, for example, 1.356 is a number that's between, say, 1 and 2. Right? But it's not 1, it's not 2, it's not a whole number. Now the idea of a percentage, say if I have uh, 10%, right? what that really means is um, 1 over 10. Okay, if I have 100%, it means the same as 1, and if I have, say, 120%, that's the same as 1.2. I'll explain a bit more about um, why and how to calculate percentages. So for now, let's look at these fractions in a bit more detail. I'll start with vulgar and decimal fractions and look at examples of how to convert between them. So let's say I have this fraction half. Now I shall not go into the meaning of <coughs> of um, how how this idea of a half comes about. You can think of it as, as dividing an object into two parts and taking one part of that. That's a half. So that's the the, the basic idea when we first learn about fractions. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go straight into how to convert, say, this half 
into 0 0.5. Now these are two different ways of writing a fraction. The half there is called a vulgar fraction. The 0 0.5 there is called a decimal. So how do I convert from one to the other? Now the easier um, conversion would be from say 0 0.5 to half. If I have 0 0.5, the way to convert that to half is to think about is to write in a fraction where I have 5 on top, so I put a 5 there and I have 10 below. Now that's the meaning of this decimal um, written as a fraction. So if I have say 0 0.5 in you know, one decimal place, I will need a 10 at the bottom with one zero. Right? So just to clarify what I mean, if I have say 0 0.05, in the form of a fraction, this decimal means 5 on top, again the 5 coming from the number that you see there, of, that comes after the point. And at the bottom, I have 1, 0, 0. Yeah, two zeros because there are two decimal places. So this is how the number of places in the decimal relates to the number of zeros um, below. And the number after the decimal point relates to the number on top of the fraction. And this is how we convert from a decimal to a fraction. Now coming back to the 0 0.5, since 0 0.5 is 5 over 10, that's sort of by definition what it means by, by this decimal number thing, I can simplify the fraction. And the way to simplify it is to divide the top and the bottom by the same number. So, in this case, for example, if I divide the top and bottom by 5, 5 divided by 5 is 1, and 10 divided by 5 is 2. So that's how we get the half. Right, we'll look at more examples of how to simplify fractions later on. So that's how we convert, say, from the decimal fraction to the vulgar fraction. But how do we convert from a vulgar fraction to a decimal. And that's slightly more difficult. Of course, um, if you have a calculator, the easiest way is just to press the calculator. But if you don't, then the way to do it is to think about the half as a division. Meaning, to think about the half as 1 divided by 2. And you do a long division with it. Like that, you put a 1 there, and a 2 here. Okay. Right. Now, 1 is smaller than 2, so we can't divide that. But what we are going to do is, we are going to think about the 1 as a 1 point zero, 0, and so on. Let's think of 1 as 1 point zero, zero. So if, for example, I have this number here, and I want to divide by 2, um, let me just put down 1, 0. So that looks like a 10, but there's really a decimal point there. Now I can divide 10 by 2. The answer is 5. But when I write down the answer 5, I must be careful to put in the decimal point here, at the right place. So, zero, so this will be 0 0.5 times 2. And that would give me 1.0 as well. And when I subtract, I'll get 0 with no remainder. So therefore, my answer there is 0.5. And I will put a 0 in front of the point, right? because there's no number at this place that I can multiply by 2 to do the long division. So that's one way to do it. Another way to do it for simpler fractions like half is to simply do the reverse of this. 
right? If I start from half, I could just multiply the top and bottom by five, and I'll get five there and a five there. And just like that. If I do half, I can multiply by five here and here, and I'll get five over ten. And five over ten can be written directly as a decimal. So that's how we can do it. But these are just simple uh, cases of converting between fractions. And just one last uh, thing to mention about percentages. So for example, if I have 0 0.5, If I want to convert this to a percentage, the way to do it is to multiply by 100. So that's always um, the way to change to a percentage. If I take 100 times 0 0.5, I will get um, 50. And then you would put in this symbol for percentage. So two little circles with a stroke in between. That's the symbol for a percentage. Or if I have um, a fraction and I want to convert this to a percentage, it's the same. I would multiply by 100. So this gives me half times 100 is again 50. 50%. Right? Now, what if I do want to do the opposite? What if I want to convert 50%? to a decimal fraction or a vulgar fraction. Now if I want to convert it to a, a fraction, I would take 50 and multiply by 1 over 100. Okay, so 50 over 100, I get 50 over 100. So that's my fraction and I can simplify that Cancel to 0, and divide 5 by 5 on top and below, that gives me 1 over 2. Or I can also choose to write this as 0 0.5, like that. So that's how we convert between percentages and vulgar or decimal fractions. We'll stop here for this part.